Hey Bally, welcome back to another math lesson. Tonight we're going to work, about, work on estimating percentages, but first let's start off with an Olympic trivia question. Name these three Olympians. Better yet, see if you can name one of them. That would be terrific. All right, let's get to the official target tonight, which is 7.3a. I can estimate the percentage of a number with percentages less than 100%. All right, let's start off with the question here. Last year, Carson completed 62% of his passes. He threw 520 passes. How many did he complete? Well, I start by writing down the problem. It's where I always start. So I need to find out what 62% of 520 is. Actually, I need to estimate it. So, you got 62%. I said, that's about 60%. I rounded 520 to 500. So my new problem I'm working with is here is I need to find 60% of 500. Well, I know that 50% of 500 is 250, and we worked on that last night, and 10% of 500 is 50. So if I add my 50% and my 10% together, I've got that 60%. So 50, sorry, 250 plus 50 is 300. Does it make sense? Sure. Carson completed about 300 passes. Sure, it makes sense because 250 passes would have been 50%, right? And coming back to that 50 and that 10%, this is going to be the key to being successful with your estimating tonight. I showed you how to do 1%, 10%, 50%, and even a half a percent last night. Uh, and those will all come in handy, but I sure think that working with 10 and 50% is really going to be the most crucial ones to be using in, for your quiz and for your activities. All right, here we go. Let's try an example. Estimate 20% of 1472. So go ahead and write the problem out, 20% of 1472. And then I rounded 20% to 20%. Didn't change it, didn't need to. $14.72, I said that's close to 15. So now I'm looking at 20% of 15. Well, 10% of 15 is 1.5. Here's another 10%, 1.5, if I add those together, I've got a total of 3, and here you can see my 20%, because 10% and 10% is 20%. 1.5 and 1.5. 20% is 3. $3. Does it make sense? Totally. 10% would be a buck 50, right? It's in the hole. All right. Here we go. Estimate 79% of 287. Once again, write the problem. 79% of 287. Round the numbers. This time I said 79%. Well, that's about 75%. And 287, that's about 300. So now I'm looking at 75% of 300. Well, I know that 50% of 300 is 150. I know that 25% of 300 will be half of this, half of 50%. So that's 75. So therefore, 75%, 50 and 25, is going to be 225. You see how I added that up? Here's 50%, 25%, make 75%. Add, the sum is 225. And does this make sense? Oh yeah, you betcha. 50% is 150, so you got it. See how I keep coming back to 50% and 10%? It's gonna get a little bit repetitive tonight. All right, speaking of repetitive, here's another way of solving that same problem. 79% of 287. This time I said 79% is 80%. I rounded up. 287, I still said it's 300. So now I'm looking at 80% of 300. I did 50% is 150. And then look at I did 10, 20, and 30%. Add those to the 50% gives me the 80%. So 10% is 30, 10% is 30, 10% is 30. Add them all up, I get 80% is 240. 240, does this make sense? Oh, sure, that's just about right, you see, because 50% is 150. I have no idea why I'm talking like this tonight. How would you like to spend a night in my head? <laughs> Scary. All right, back to the point. This estimate was for 240. This estimate was for 225. They're both good estimates. 
An estimate is that approximation, a close guess, just to get you in the right range. And yes, they both work. So you can have different answers, different estimates that are both correct. All right, time for you to try a couple here. Estimate 18% of 69. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, let's see how you did. Well, I rounded 18% to 20. I rounded 69 to 70. And then I found 10% of 70 is 7. And here's another 10% is another 7. So I had a total of 20% of 70 being 14. Does it make sense? Absolute kit and caboodle. Don't ask me. Well, I know that 10% is 7, so of course 20% will be 14. Good job. I'm sure you've got that one right. Here's the one that's a little more challenging. Estimate 37% of 123. Go for it. All right. Let's take a look. Well, 37% of 123. I routed 37% to 40%. And 123, I said, is 120. So my new estimate, I'm going to find out what 40% of 120 is. Well, I said 10% of 120 is 12. So 4 times 12 is 48. My answer is 48. Oh, did I go too fast there? Well, look what I did here. Here's 10% is 12, 10% is 12, 10% is 12, 10% is 12 for a total of 40% being 48. You don't always have to do all of that labor. Sometimes you can just say, hey, 10% of 120 is 12. 4 times 12 is 40% or 48 would be the number. All right? Once again, does it make sense? Oh, yeah, you betcha. 50% would be 60. 40%, 48. Answer makes sense. All right. Here's your ticket to the show. See if you can find out what 62% of 91 is and 23% of 83. Remember, we're estimating what the number would be. All right? Okay. Tonight's trivia question. Name these three Olympians. Well, figure skater Gracie Gold is over here first. And then we've got Ted Ligety. He won the gold medal today when I'm making this video. I think it's uh, February 19th today. TJ Oshie, Minnesota kid. Had a big, big goals and uh, the winning goals actually in the um, round robin uh, game against the Russians. And my favorite, you, uh, favorite Olympian, she actually didn't make it there this year because she hurt her leg. Lindsey Vaughn, Valley Middle School's own Lindsey Vaughn. Walk in the halls of Valley Middle School just like you. Will you be the next Olympian representing Valley Middle School? I hope so. Thanks for listening. Have a good night.